Looks like it's going to be a lovely day. Uh-oh. I have a feeling it's going to get a bit gloomy after all. Rocky Malone. That is one grouchy police car. I don't think I've ever even seen him smile. Me neither. Not even once. Wait, shh, shh, shh. Um, hi, Rocky. What brings you to the city? <laughs> I'm waiting for some new springs. My old ones are completely worn out. Ouch. Tommy's going to replace them, but the new ones haven't arrived yet. So here I am, stuck. Anyway, what are you two doing today? I have to kill some time. Us? Nothing. Boring stuff. You wouldn't even want to know about it. It's so boring. <sighs> That's for sure. Sounds fine. Mind if I tail along? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> if you want. Well, what are we waiting for? Isn't it patrol time? That it is. This will be a hard day with someone so humorless as Rocky. Oh, fool! If there's one thing I don't like, it's a pothole. I can't take it anymore. Rocky hasn't stopped complaining all morning. There are so many stop signs. There are so many red lights. Why are there so many potholes? Sheesh, he's running our patrol. That car hasn't laughed once this entire morning. Ha! Rocky, laughing? That's it. What's it? Laughter. If we can make Rocky laugh, maybe he'll be more bearable to be around. There is no chance of making him laugh. Not now, not ever. Impossible. Possible. I'll show you. Darn pothole loosened up my already loosened up springs. <clears throat> Say, Rocky, do you like a good joke? Of course I like a good joke. Who doesn't like a good joke? Why, don't you like a good joke? Yes, I do. And now, I will tell you my good joke. <clears throat> Did you ever hear the one about the convertible that drove into the car wash? No, I haven't. And besides, why would a convertible drive into a car wash? Very bad idea, if you ask me. Quite foolish. And wouldn't someone have stopped him before he drove into the car wash? Irresponsible attendance. That's what's wrong with this country. I meant he drove into the car wash. Get it? Into the car wash? Bam! <sighs> Okay. What do you call a black and white police car? Most police cars are blue and white, Fiona. That's a fact. Except for the ones that are red and white, and brown and white, and white and white. So, I call a black and white one unusual. <sighs> he didn't even let me get to the punchline. Can you believe that? I hate to say I told you so, but that car isn't about to laugh anytime soon. Maybe funny stories aren't his thing. I have an idea. Follow me. I sure hope this is going to work. It has to work. The pie in the face gag never fails. What's all the hubbub? Oh, just a pit stop to pick up some banana cream pies. Um, three banana cream pies to go. Three banana cream pies to go. What? Oh, no! <laughs> really, Rocky? You didn't find this funny at all? No. I'm going to have to write you a summons, Benny. There's cream on the sidewalk. Cream? Cream is not a crime! Indeed it is. A violation of City Ordinance 101.9 that explicitly states, <clears throat> no uncontained dairy-based products permitted on sidewalk surfaces. Learn your codes, folks. This is a sour cream day for sure. I'm sorry, Benny. <clears throat> Let this be a lesson for all of you. Huh. Quiet day. Yep. It might rain. Yep. <sighs> it might. 
<sighs> well, time to go and check on my springs. They should be ready by now. At least I hope they're ready. I'd like to get back home and maybe have some fun today. Fun? Rocky doesn't even know what fun is. We've given it our best effort all day long, trying to make that guy laugh just once. There's no hope. This is the worst day ever. <sighs> Hey, did I tell you the one about the smelly jelly bean? Not now, Polly. I'm too down to laugh. Yeah, this guy's really gotten to us. We're almost done, Rocky. I'll have you back on the road one too quick. You can take all the time you need, Tommy. I have not been having a good day out there at all, honestly. Well, now that your springs are replaced, you should be better than ever. How's patrol been with Polly and Fiona? Don't ask. They just seem to get grumpier with each hour. Sorry to hear that. Well, here are your old springs. You want them or should I recycle them? Oh, you can just... Wait a sec. Actually, I think I'll take them. <laughs> Emergency services? Yes? Oh, I see. Over and out. Listen up. A big box is blocking the street between the drive-in and the mayor's house. How strange. I wonder what that could be. Let's roll, because it's... Action, action time! Hurry, Polly and Fiona! Over here! What's wrong, Calamity? It's only a box. It made a noise, a weird noise. <laughs> That's silly, Calamity. Boxes don't make noises. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Ah! Eek! Eek! I got so scared I almost oiled myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's funny! <laughs> that wasn't nice! Yeah, we could have gotten hurt! By a box? Well, the, the box had... The, the, the lid could have... Well, those springs! Okay, it wasn't dangerous, but it definitely scared me. <laughs> it sure did. That was a hilarious joke. A hilarious joke? From Rocky? <laughs> I'm sorry, Polly and Fiona, <laughs> but I had to do something. I just had to. What do you mean? You two were just getting more miserable with every hour. The looks on your faces, it was getting exhausting. I just did this to get you sour pusses to lighten up. <laughs> sour, sour pusses? Us? <laughs> I guess we did lose our sense of humor today. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. Trying to get Rocky to laugh. Is that what you were trying to do? And of all people to teach us to see the funny side, it was you, Rocky. <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. <laughs> I gotta admit it, you're right! <laughs> sure it's not too heavy for you, Tracy? Amazing how much stuff is needed to prepare a mini circus. Oh, it's no problem at all. But I don't think I can take everything in one go. I'll have to do a couple of trips. Benny's flower sacks will have to wait. I would take them to him, but there's so much going on with the building of the stage. I'm sure he'll understand. Yeah, I'll help you fly some things over there, so we'll get the stage ready in time. Well, I'd better run up to the soccer pitch and drop all this off. All right, we'll keep working away here. Bye-bye. It's great that you could take care of my old tires, Gary. Oh, with a pleasure. Believe me, sure you don't have any more to give me? More? <laughs> nah. Now I've got new super rubber tires. These will last me forever. Look how good they are. Bye, Gary. See you at the circus tonight. If he continues driving like that, I'm sure those tires will soon be mine. Ah! Oh my, what a disaster. There, the fire is out now, Herbie. Thanks, Fiona. What on earth happened? 
Well, there was so much to do before Zoofy Circus tonight. I wanted to try out the new grill, but I must have forgotten all about it while I was dealing with the hot dogs. Well, no damage done. Just be more careful in the future. Hey, Elmo, are you ready for this circus tonight? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. I can hardly wait. Have you been practicing, Tessie? Well, that sure is good news. What about you, Crocodile? Are you ready for the circus tonight? <laughs> Fantastic! I'm so excited to get to show everyone what you can do, my lovely friend. Hop a dippy doo, hop a dippy da. What a lovely day! La 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 la. What's this? No flower. I was expecting a big delivery of flour today. Ah. How am I going to bake my buns now? Trabby dabby dabby doo. Hiya, Benny. How are you doing today? Bah! I arrived at my lovely bakery this morning to bake some buns, but my flour delivery hasn't turned up yet. No wonder I've lost my temper. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh dear, it's so disappointing. I'll help you, Benny. You will? Yep, you can just relax. I'm sure I'll be able to find your temper for you. Gosh, what a crazy bird. How is he going to find my temper? That little nincompoop. I'm so pleased you come to see me today, my little Kara. And I bet you're looking forward to Zoofy's mini circus this evening. It'll be so much fun. Well, yeah, I guess so, Aunt Betty. I just wonder, what sort of flowers the tiger will want? The tiger? Is there gonna be a tiger? Yes, of course, Tessie's gonna be there. Wow, is there a tiger at the zoo? I've never seen a tiger before. Cool, I can't wait to go there now and have a look. Please, Aunt Betty. <laughs> Calm down, I don't have the time now. I need to get the banquets ready. You'll have to wait until tonight. Do I have to wait till tonight? Oh. <laughs> Let's see now. What do you think about these red flowers? Kara? Where are you? Kara! I can't wait to see what Zoofy and the animals have in store for us. Yeah, I hear she's been training for a long time. Is it really possible to teach a crocodile tricks? <laughs> I don't know, but Zoofy is so clever, I'm sure anything's possible. Emergency services. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh my. Sure. Over and out. Listen up. Betty Bloom's little niece Kara has disappeared. Betty doesn't know where she's gone, and now she's distraught with worry. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. The city can be a dangerous place with all the traffic. Then we'd better hurry. Yes. Now it's... Action time! Nope, Benny's temper wasn't in that bush either. Hmm, what does a temper look like exactly? Hey there, crow. Check out my new tires. Amazingly speedy. Yes, they seem nice. You haven't seen Benny's temper, have you? His temper? I bet it's like always. Quick to turn. <laughs> no, I mean he's lost it. It's probably here somewhere, but I'm not sure what it looks like. He lost his temper? And you're looking for it? <laughs> Good luck with that, Crow. See you. Thanks, Harry. Bye, then. Hmm. Although he never explained what a temper looks like. I'll have to keep looking. Oh, there they are. Hello there, Betty. What happened? Oh, my little niece Kara has disappeared. You have to help me look for her. I just turned my trunk to her for two seconds, and then she was gone. Oh, dear. Calm down. We'll find her for you. What does Kara look like? She is small and pink, and she has a tall flag sticking up from her back, so you can spot her from a distance. Good. I'm sure we will be able to find her. Let's start straight away. It's best if you stay here, Betty, in case little Kara comes back. Okay. Yeah, I suppose so. But please hurry. Absolutely. We won't stop until she's been found. See you later, Betty. Good luck. Hello! She couldn't have gotten very far. The question is, just which way she went? 
Look there! A flag! Yes, that must be Kara. Come, Fiona. Oh, hi, Tracy. It's just you. <laughs> hi to you, too. Just me, huh? Are you looking for someone? Uh, yes. I'm sorry, Tracy. We thought you were Betty Bloom's young niece, Kara. Apparently, she also has a flag. I see. Young cars should not be out alone on the streets. It could be dangerous. It sure could. I'll keep an eye out for her. Great. Thanks, Tracy. Come, Polly. Let's keep on looking. Goodbye, Tracy. Bye-bye. Woohoo! Here I come! The fastest car in town! It would have been easier to look for if only I knew what a temper looked like. But since Benny was so upset, it must be something really nice that you don't want to lose. Hmm. Oh, what a lovely flower! And so sweet smelling! <sighs> Where would you go if you were a small car alone in the city? Well, that depends on what you like and what interests you. Look at that! A flag! Maybe this time it's really Kara. Come, hurry up, Polly. Ship ahoy, you landlubbers! How nice of you to come by for a visit. Hello there, Fred. Oh, so you are the one with the flag. The flag? Yeah, isn't it neat? <laughs> Very. Have you seen a small car around here somewhere? A small car? No! The harbor is no place for wee cars. And not for old sea dogs either. <laughs> so long, this ship is off to sea. Hey ho, oh, hey ho, oh, up on the waves I go. Well, it wasn't Kara this time either. No, we'll have to keep searching. Oh, I'm not sure which way. Hiya! Do you need help or something? Well, at first I couldn't find the tiger. And now I can't find my way back to Aunt Betty. Typical. Gosh, but I know the way to Betty Bloom. Come on, I'll go with you. Have you ever seen a living tiger? Oh, I just love tigers. I'm starting to get a little worried. Look, a flag. It's her, come on. Hello there, Kara. Where have you been? Your Aunt Betty's very worried about you. Sorry for doing something so stupid. I just wanted to see the tiger, then I got lost. I was just about to take her to Betty. Good, what a relief nothing's happened. Ah, how typical. Nothing gets done. No baking to get on with. Hi, Benny. Have you found your temper yet? Huh? What do you mean, found? I've been looking all over, but I think I'm about to give up. But instead, I found little Kara who was lost. Can we go now? I want to get back to Aunt Betty so we don't miss the circus. The circus? Is there a circus in town? Hey, I love the circus. Hooray! I think I'd better hurry. Au revoir. <laughs> what happened? I think it's safe to say that Benny likes the circus. Hey, I actually think I found Benny's temper. Ha <laughs> ha! Because I found Kara and she gave him back his temper. Huh? I haven't taken anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there they are. Oh, Kara. Hmm. Thank you so much for finding her. Don't worry. We're just glad she's unharmed. Well, little Kara here wasn't able to wait for the circus. She went on a tiger hunt through the town and got lost. I'm sorry, Aunt Betty. I'll never do that again. Can we go now? Please, please? I must see the tiger now! <laughs> All right then, come on. Oh, here comes a tiger! Way to go, tiger! Jump, Desi! Wow! And here comes Elmo, the elephant! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Oh. Hi! How did it go? Just great. Kara was found, and Zufi Circus was a real success. Well, that's a relief. Yes, it wasn't all that easy to find Kara, but she was unharmed and made it in time for the circus. Fantastic. You are the heroes of all small cars. You're the heroes of the city. I'm so sorry I forgot about your flower, Benny. 
there was so much to do before the circus that it completely slipped my mind. Oh, that's no trouble at all. It was such a magnifique circus. The buns can wait. <laughs> so you're back already? Yeah, I mean, I might have done a bit too much skidding on my super rubber tires. Does that mean you've learned a lesson? What? Well, that you have to drive more carefully. Carefully? Nah. Now I've got myself these super duper rubber tires. They don't wear for anything. <laughs> He'll just never learn. Those new tires will soon be garbage. Lovely, wonderful garbage. Phew, I've flown all the way from the big city with Harry's heavy birthday gift. <laughs> Harry's gonna be so surprised. He has no idea we're throwing a surprise party for him. I hope everyone can keep the secret. I'm really looking forward to the party later. Harry is going to be so surprised when he sees what we've got in store for him. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen how surprised Grandpa was when he turned 100 and was given a jack-in-the-box. He was so scared his paint peeled off and left him all white with terror. <laughs> My, but I don't think Harry will get scared, only happily surprised. There, now I'll go back home and get ready for the party. See you later, Tommy. Sure thing, bye for now. <gasps> ah! Oops, hmm, my tires are pretty worn. Maybe it's time to get new ones. <laughs> but worn tires aren't going to spoil this special day, because today is my birthday. <laughs> Hooray for me! Ooh, it smells of newly baked cake. Benny the Baker has probably made me a birthday cake. I'll head over there for a little taste. Voila! Harry's cake is finally ready. A masterpiece. Mon Dieu, here comes Harry. He mustn't see the cake. Then the surprise party won't be a surprise. Hi, Benny. What's up? Bonjour, Harry. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, just lovely. Have you baked anything I can taste? <laughs> Perhaps a birthday cake? No, no. Absolutely no birthday cake. No? All right. I, I guess I'll head off then. Bye, Benny. Uh, goodbye. Phew. That was close. Lucky Harry didn't notice the cake. Now I have to get the cake to the party. Oh no, my beautiful cake! Trabby dabby doo! What a beautiful day! I'm newly showered and ready for Harry's surprise party. Nothing can go wrong today. What's that noise? Ha! Ah, cake attack! Hmm, it's not that often you get showered by cake. Yummy! My poor cake! Uh... I can't believe Benny has forgotten about my birthday! <sighs> huh? What's that? Maybe Robbie and Freddy are up to something exciting down at the industrial site. I'll go over there and have a look. I wonder if they have a nice present for me. <sighs> How many balloons do we actually need for Harry's party? It's getting tricky to hold them all. <sighs> hey, Harry's coming! Quick! Harry mustn't see the balloons. Put them away and pretend like it's raining. Hiya, guys. What's up? Er, uh, well, uh, uh, we're just enjoying the sunshine. Nah, I'm just pretending it's raining. Hmm, I see. Have you had a delivery of a parcel to the harbor today? Maybe a small birthday present or some... No, 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 no! We don't know anything about a birthday present. Nothing at all! No, no! <laughs> no present? Right. Well, then I'll leave you in peace to do whatever it was you were doing. So long, guys. Hmm. Can I put the umbrella away now? <sighs> Phew! This wind is stronger than I expected. But now I see Lookout Luke. That means I'll be just in time for the party. 
What's this? Balloons! No! Harry's present! Just my luck, I'll never be able to get it now. I have to get help fast before the present sinks. There, the flags are in place. Then we're just waiting for the balloons and the cake and the present. And of course, Harry. Oh, he's going to be so surprised. Hmm, but I wonder where Hector is with the present. He should have been here by now. What if he... Emergency services. Yes. Oh, dear. Mmm. All right. Over and out. Listen up. Hector has dropped Harry's present in the water. He's worried it might sink to the bottom of the sea. Gosh. Then we'd better hurry. Yes. Hurry on over there. Now, it's... Action time! time! There, a new masterpiece. Now I'm going to be very, very careful. Ha ha ha, this will do it. Oh, not again. Stop, you silly trailer. Oh, I can't wait to have a party today. Harry will be so surprised. Ah, a cake. Like, what is this? Yuck, I'm a mess. Ah, uh, but it's only cake. Oh, and I was ready for a party. No, I'll have to wash all over again. My nice, wonderful cake, all wasted. Uh. Hello there, Hector. What's happened? I dropped the box with Harry's present in the water. I'm worried it's gonna sink to the bottom. Can't you just pick it up again? No, my rope has snapped. Oh, I reckon we'd better hurry if we're gonna get the box up before it sinks. It would be such a shame to lose Harry's present. But how are we going to do it? Ship ahoy, you landlubbers! How come you all look so gloomy? Has something happened? Hi, Fred. Thank goodness you've arrived. We would like some help fishing up that box you see bobbing out there. That box? Gee, I better hurry up. It looks like it's about to sink any moment. I'll be right back! But how are we going to transport the box over to the surprise party? Go and get Digsy and Tracy. I bet they'll be able to help us. Of course! I'll be back soon. There, I'm loaded with a new little cake. I won't use that silly trailer again. Uh... Right then. Let's see now. Gotcha! Hi, Tracy and Digsy. Great of you to come. We are thrilled to be able to help. Look, here comes Fred. Hi there, Fred. Did it go well? You bet. I've caught tougher fish than this little box in my time. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Fred. Well, I'd better chug along. I've got fish to catch. Take care now. Bye, Fred. Thanks for your help. And I think we'd better hurry to the party. Come on, let's go, everyone. This is so boring. Everybody's forgotten about my birthday. Not one lousy card or present. Blah, what a rotten day. This has got to be the worst birthday ever. Ah, I'll just go home and celebrate my birthday on my own. Hmm. Well, happy birthday, Harry. The world's loneliest hot rod. Haha, -ha, I'm almost there, and the cake is in one piece. Look out, Benny! A cake? Ah, and now the surprise is really spoiled. The surprise? Yes. Come along, Harry. Where is he? We're going to be late for the party. Crow, where are you? Come on now. Hi, Tommy. Here I am. I got the cake all over me and had to take another shower. But now I'm ready to go. Hold on, Crow. Here he comes. Here comes Harry. Happy birthday, Harry! Wow! 
a, a surprise party. <laughs> we surprised you, didn't we? You did, um, or, or I mean, nah, I've, I've known about it the whole day. Just didn't want to spoil your surprise, you see. Open your present. Wow! Ultra racing tires with extra super duper grip. Imagine the skidding I'll be able to do. And what a perfect cake. Huh, this has got to be the best birthday ever. And it's not over yet. You've still got another surprise, Harry. Do I? Oh, yes. Come with us to the cinema and we'll show you. Come on, everybody. How exciting. We're going to show you a nice old film that we found hidden away in a drawer. Happy birthday, Harry. All right, roll the film. Yeah! Oh, all right. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're so cute. Cute? No, I'm cool. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Harry! What a great surprise party that was. Yeah, and Harry was so pleased with his present. I would also like some ultra racing tires with extra super duper grip. Gosh, Harry did some serious skidding. <laughs> It'll take all night to wash off those tire marks. I think we should let them stay there for a while, Fiona. Er, uh, what do you mean? Oh, Harry. Here I come! The fastest car in town! Woohoo! This is the world's best birthday ever! 